This is the life of New York City that we stand together in time of need. Um, and we're so fortunate to have leaders from across the board, from different faiths, coming together. Thank you so much. My name is Matthew Eugene, and I am the New York City Council member representing District 40, the district where you are at right now. It is really unfortunate that we are here today at the time where, when everybody is celebrating the holidays, to be here, you know, to pose the senseless and brutal act took the life of so many innocent people. 145, I believe, children, brothers, sisters, and teachers. We are here to stand together in solidarity with the Pakistani community and the family members of all those who lost their loved ones. And I want to take the opportunity to thank 
Horazi and Koko for bringing together people from different ethnic backgrounds and also all of us leaders from different communities. I want to commend all of you here. Thank you very much for coming because this is what we human beings we have to do. When there's a tragedy, regardless of where the tragedy is, we got to come together as a family to bring support and to mourn also with those who are at this time are suffering because of the loss of the loved one. We stand in solidarity with the Pakistani community and I want to offer not only condolences, but I want to say that I will continue to work together with Popo, with Moazi, with all the leaders here to make sure that we provide to the Pakistani community and all family members the support that they need to overcome this very difficult moment. And I want to thank also Rabbi Kamran, who represents the Jewish community and all the other leaders who are here. Thank you very much. Let us say we strong a powerful message that there is no place in our society right now for such act. We have to continue to work together to make sure that those people are doing that to realize that they are taking the wrong way. Thank you very much, Morazi, for inviting me. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member. And I'm going to turn over the mic to our dear friend who's always here um, from the Jewish community, Rabbi Bob Kapp. First of all, I want to thank my friend, my dear friend, Mohammed Razvi Rogmo. We've, been, we've traveled to many different parts of the world to spread light. And this is the season of light. It's a season of light in so many different faiths. I know in, in my own faith, when I finally make it home tonight, I'll light another candle for the season, for the holiday of Hanukkah. The, ho the holiday that celebrates, that commemorates light in darkness. And I think that it, 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 we are each and every one of us are responsible here for becoming a brighter and brighter candle in this darkness. It is absolutely inconceivable to me, horrific, what happened in Pakistan, what happened in Peshawar. The fact that people will go into a school where children are supposed to feel safe, they're sent to grow, where they're sent to learn, where they're sent to connect with each other, brutally murder them in the name of pure hate. Just pure hate is absolutely inconceivable. And what we must do as leaders in all of our communities is defeat that hate. I know that there are people around New York today, around our country, saying this must end now. Well, this, this must truly end now. This hate must end now. This, this destruction must end now. This thought in someone's mind, some warped, perverted mind, that this is permissible, that this is okay, that this is a way to further your political or other type of ideology or agenda, has to end right now now. And the only way we're going to do that is raise our voices and raise our light to the darkness and say that we will illuminate this world. We will dedicate ourselves to making this a better world. None of us are Pollyannish. None of us know that, uh, all of us know that by standing here today, those in, in, who hate so dramatically are necessarily going to listen to our voices. But on the other hand, we know that if we talk loud enough, we illuminate bright enough, that even those living in darkness will be touched by the light. So in this season of light, let us continue to illuminate light. And in closing, let us send our love, our prayers, our caring, our heartfelt, spiritual voice 
to those dozens of parents grieving tonight, grieving today because of the loss of their children. Thank you. Thank you, Rabbi. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to request Comrade Shahin to say a few words on this show. Welcome and Jewish community and every community living in Brooklyn. We Pakistani living in this country have the same values, same heart, and our women and our mothers and sisters. We have a very painful days and night nowadays. And I hope, like other communities who came up to help us, to give us a nice verse, to words which mean for us. So. We remember these words. It's the hardest time. In the same way, I hope Pakistani government and the United States government think about where something is wrong. 40 years that area is up under fire. Let's start straight. Let's start open. Because it's a question of the young kids. They're paying the price. And I hope the step that took our President Obama, historical step, opening the heart and opening the shores for others. I'm talking about the Cuba. We will survive. People who believe the guns and the bombs and the drones, they will not. We have a Pakistani community from Pakistan USA Freedom Forum. And I want to say thank you for Coco, Mr. Rizvi. This is the work for the community service has to do. Get together and stand for the peace and love and respect for all. We Pakistanis stand against any brutality in Ferguson, in Brooklyn, in anywhere. All of you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Congressman. I'm going to request a call uh, from the PC Council. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Here today in solidarity with my brothers and sisters in Islam to condemn this cowardly act. And it is a cowardly act. So many people are doing things and saying things and claiming that it's in the name of Islam. This is not Islam. Make no mistake. This has nothing to do with Islam. I'd like to commend my brother Muhammad Razvi and the Council of People Organization for bringing us together and for the work that they do. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to thank my sister, my sister, my sister. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Abhida Sattar and I am a community graduate board member and volunteer social worker in Korea and Hospital. I've been working over there from last 22 years. This is the very bad and black day of our community and for my country and for the all world and 16 December is the worst day of all human beings. I don't know that why these people they are killing these innocent children who don't know what is the politician, what is the religion, what is the cause of their killing. They, they, they came to school from home, the mother sent to them for study. But these black-hearted and black mind and the uh, people who don't have any life, they are mentally sick people who are doing this. Islam is not teaching us all these things. Islam is the religion of peace and love. And Muhammad, Muhammad Holy Prophet he gave us a lesson to live in human right like a flower and uh, his teaching is very very blessing for all humanity not only for muslims he is the prophet of 
whole world. I don't know who people are. These, these are not Muslim, these are not human beings, these are animals, and these are worse than the dogs and the I think so they must go to the hell. And I I I say sorry to the all parents and the grandparents and the all by Pakistani community and all Muslims of the world and all human beings of the world that we and we are so sorry. We cannot bring those children back. They are in paradise. And I am I want to say thanks to the all legislative and the people who came to share our home and this time. And uh, I hope so that uh, everybody will be in future. They watch themselves that who are in them. And, uh, and in my country, I request to everybody to stay together and we will save the community. Thank you very much. Sister, thank you. I'm going to request uh, the council. As you can see here, Pakistan flag above you. We are here as Pakistanis to represent us. We are great Pakistanis. Heartbreaking news, this heartbreaking incident. But the good thing, I really have to share Muhammad Muhammad Razi because he is doing under the flag of Pakistan. Because yesterday I uh, I went to a couple of uh, protests and candle vigils, and they were presenting their parties. Right now, this is not a time to represent their party. This is a time to represent Pakistan because first we are human, we are. Uh, Forget all our differences, be one, and let's face all these vicious terrorists, whatever so called they are, these animals, and let's, let's face them and let's uh, come and face them. And, uh, and my heart goes to all the families who lost their children and their loved ones in this incident. Almighty Allah bless them all and let us understand and understand and uh, I want to recognize Mary Jo Cullen from the League of Young Corporation of uh, Montreal. Um, I'm very much to the United States. 
stay together and stay united, they will never get rid of this problem. In the reality, uh, Pakistani authorities, I personally will demand from Pakistani authorities to go deep and dig out how these terrorists went inside the school and from where they came in and from what forces they came in. Uh, I know and we all know, I would say, why these things are happening in Pakistan, and particularly in KPK. Uh, I cannot go very deeply, but in reality, this is a game, and this game has to stop, and this game must be stopped by the Pakistani authorities and by the American authorities. In Pakistanis, and particularly in KPK, population is suffering. Thank you so much for organizing tonight's vigil. Tonight we are all Pakistanis. Tonight we all stand with the people of Pakistan, with, with the Pakistani American community with our brothers and sisters in the Pakistani American community in Brooklyn. We're standing together with you when we're deploring what happened in Pakistan. Our hearts go out to you, your brothers and sisters in the Pakistani American community who've lost their dear ones, dear ones and loved ones. Let us all stand together so nothing of that sort happens again. I will request the reading go ahead from the reading board to say a few words. Can you go ahead and go I've lived in this neighborhood for about 12 years and um, always felt very welcome here. And as I look at history, I see these things happening over and over and over again. The only hope I think is the people who are here. People, as I said earlier, that they stand for brotherhood, sisterhood, and all of us living together. And we, it must, it must stop. It must stop. And, and I pray, and I join you in praying for the families uh, who are suffering so much right now. And, um, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to request Usher Chaudhry to say a few words. Thank you very much for the time. Thank you to And that is not of their own. Uh, for those families, and uh, that's not for only the Arab Pakistan for people, that's not only for the people of Pakistan, that's against the whole world, whole civilized world, whole civilized peoples. So in this way, and these, the peoples who are behind these animals, we should pray for those people, they should go into the hell, and also those people who are doing these things, and uh, also, we should pray for their families, uh, for their patients, and for their community. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, I want to request one of the youths 
uh, in our community to see word you know what they felt and they see. I feel like terrorists um, aren't doing much. They're just wasting their time. They should be good people. Um, that rage is not even people that's killing their kids for no reason. And they're like pissing for no It's really just sad. So, I think that terrorists shouldn't attack and then we attack back. We should attack before they attack. And yeah. We have to stop the pain We have to stop the cycles of violence and duplicity that that grow that grow these kinds of events. Um, that's all there is to say. We have to start killing it. So I have, we have other participants from different faiths. I want my brother to say a few words. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, we are Pakistani Christian community. Really upset for every day. Every single day, whatever is going on in Pakistan, they are not only Pakistani kids, they are our kids, our brother and sister there. Every day we, they're killing innocent people, blood in masjid, blood in school, blood in church, blood in markets. Nobody safe over there. Please pray for Pakistani kids. Please, please pray for Pakistani children. Please pray for Pakistani brother and sister. And God bless you, all of you, and those family back there, back home. Just pray for them. Also, we have a Sunday, 5 to 7, pray in our radio from North of Lima, uh, Park Villa video. Please, everybody, come join us. Oh, thank you. Um, your chief, would you like to say a few words, please, Chief Monahan? Um, so he's the one who helps us for the community, um, Chief. Thank, thank you, Mo. Uh, I just want everyone to know that the NYPD is with you all, the Pakistani community, in this terrible loss that happened thousands and thousands of miles away from here. But it's. It hits us in our heart right here on Tony Allen Avenue. So we're here to support and to protect and to serve this community here, which we will do with all the effort and might of the NYPD to keep this area safe. Thank you. Keith has always been there, and any time that we need him, and his, and his, and his force, they're here to protect us and help us in any way we need. We're going to continue here and uh, we're going to be lighting up more candles. Um, as we move forward, we're going to have a uh, prayer that's going to happen inside the mosque. Um, and as the prayer finishes, then we're going to have more people come join us outside and to continue with the vigil. Um, so at this moment, just, uh, we're just going to you know, stand here together in silence and with the candles.
آج ہم ہمارے دل رو رہے ہیں اور جو کل پاکستان میں یہ ایک بہت ہی بربریت کی مثال ہے کہ نہتے بچوں کو شہید کر دیا گیا اس سلسلے میں سمپتی کے لیے سارے لوگ جمع ہوئے ہیں جس میں ساری کمیونٹی کے لوگ یہاں پہ ہمارے ساتھ ہیں خاص طور پہ کونسل جنرل صاحب اہلکار صاحب شمس الرحمان صاحب اور ہمارے بہت سے دوسرے لوگ جو یہاں ہمارے ساتھ شامل ہیں میں گزارش کروں گا شمس الرحمان صاحب سے ایک اور دمائی کنٹ سے فی ورڈز السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و رکاتہ مائی ڈیئر پاکستانی امریکن ٹوڈے وی آر ہیر اینڈ آئی تینک چو محمد رزوی اینڈ آل ادر پارٹیز دوز آر ہیر اینڈ مائی کانسل جنرل راجہ علی جاس that we are standing here Brooklyn community, Pakistani community we are standing what happened in Peshawar but let's be realistic Mr. Obama and officials let's make no mistake Pakistan has paid a lot of life 50,000 civilians 50,000 innocent Pakistani civilians killed war on terror and you cannot imagine about the financial terms billions and trillions of dollars the point I want to make it is very important Yes, we should know who is the best friend of Pakistan, who is the best friend of America. That's Pakistan. So please, don't look suspicious eye to Pakistani people. We are a forefront. We have been fighting with terrorists. We need some things. Let's decide on marriage. Today, we are sending the strong message to terrorists. Yes, we are Muslim and we are proud to be Muslim. Being a Pakistani American, we will hunt you. Terrorists, we root you out and we will not sit down and sit back until unless we reach the culprits. Inshallah, Makki Masjid, be witness. We believe if someone kills one innocent, God says he has killed the whole human being. And if you save one life, my faith and everybody's faith says 
you save the whole humanity. Again, we are standing with our Greek families, hundreds of children, their parents, and it's very strong message. Pakistan American standing and sending to Pakistan that we are with you. May God bless Pakistan. Long live, long live USA. Thank you, thank you, brother. I'm going to request our Imam to say a dua for the children and the families. I'm going to request Hassan Jana to please come and uh, say a few words, and then we're going to have a dua. Thank you. Um, first of all, before I start, I would like to express uh, my deepest gratitude to you all for assembling here tonight and this whole night. Uh, it's always difficult to be here, especially during this weather, but it's your love for those poor children, for the whole lot who are unfortunately martyred today or yesterday uh, that has brought you out tonight. Thank you. It's been a despicable night. It's been a horrendous act. No soul on earth can justify this act. Uh, this heart-wrenching moment has brought us all together. Let us pray for the departed souls, those innocent children who have lost their lives. Let us also pray for those mothers and fathers who have lost a part of themselves yesterday. At this time, in time of deep grief, there's nothing more that we can do except we pray for them. As a Council General of Pakistan, I assure you that the government of Pakistan has not been affected by this unfortunate incident. Its resolve to fight terrorism, on the contrary, has been further spread. Our valiant armed forces are fighting the extremists in the northern part of the country all over. With renewed jubilation, they are now tracking them down and taking them to their ultimate uh, point. I would request you to also pray for our armed forces. I would request you to pray for Pakistan as well. Thank you so much. Uh, I just request uh, Mr. Rohir Dar to say a few words. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Aziz, friends and friends, this is the same thing. We have to say that we